Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the two mechanisms of motility of the alimentary canal, that is, muscular and ciliary motility. The alimentary canal uses two types of mechanisms which are quite different from each other for achieving motility. These are muscular motility and ciliary motility. The muscular motility mechanism is used by arthropods and chordates. It is used for the conduction of food content through the alimentary canal. This mechanism involves the contractions of muscles of the wall of alimentary canal. Muscular motility enables or permits handling of larger and harder pieces of food. In chordates, muscular motility is strictly by smooth muscle fibers which contract and relax rhythmically. This movement or this pattern is known as peristalsis. Peristalsis pushes the food throughout the digestive tract. Arthropods may, is kim kaable mein, muscular motility hi hoti hai, lekin that is achieved by the contraction of skeletal striated muscle fibers. Now we shall discuss the second mechanism of motility that is ciliary motility. This mechanism is used by the alimentary canals of annelids, many mollusks, tunicates and cephalocordates. This mechanism involves the beating of cilia which line the digestive tract. Cilia generate fluid crunchs and these fluid crunchs propel food in the digestive tube. Cilia reaction ki wajah se larger ya harder pieces of food ko move nahi kiya ja sakta. Is liye aise animals ki food aam taur ke upar smaller particles ya liquid form mein hoti hai. Dear students, kuch animals jin mein echinoderms or zyada tar mollusks aate hain, they use both these methods. Their lining of the digestive tract is muscular but is also lined with cilia. So they use both these mechanisms simultaneously. 